It's called grooming. You don't want to be called a groomer. And what I mean by that is I was taken um, when I was when I was responsible for um, Cub Scouts within my church. I had oversee like kind of leadership and stuff. Um, I had to take training and the training like scared me to death. So in the training, what scared me the most was um, if you touch a child, like just on the shoulder, kind of guide them from behind, you know, kind of, you know, guide them in, in their lower back or upper back or whatever. If you're touching them in any capacity, that's prolonged and purposeful. It's called grooming. Grooming, you say? Yes, grooming. Grooming for for uh, potential pedophile fun for the pedophiles. So, yeah, don't touch. And I'm, I'm doing this as a courtesy announcement to all coaches, especially the male coaches. We live in the Me Too movement. Don't be in the situation where you're going to get in trouble. Don't touch. Don't touch them in the back. Don't touch them on the shoulder. Don't... Um, uh, high five is about all you can do. And even that, it's dangerous. How about just a fist bump? Okay. I'm telling you this because I'm here to protect you. Not only is my podcast to make fun of you if you have no self-control and you talk too much and you're trying to coach too much, but don't touch young women in any capacity. Unless it's your daughter, don't touch them because you're going to be labeled as a future pedophile, that's a, a dangerous thing to be, obviously. And whatever these uh, girls say, it's true. Whether it's false or not, it's true. Whatever they say, you can't win that war. So let's protect yourselves at all times. Don't touch. The reason I bring this up, because it's always in my head about this whole grooming thing. You know, you're grooming them for future um, uh, undesirable uh future mugshot kind of play bull crap uh i saw this all over the um soccer complex all these guy coaches coaching girls just touch a lot they're like oh come here let me get my arm around your shoulder this is what you should have done here or they'll grab you uh kind of touch you on the uh the back or they they guide you to sub or whatever i'm like was it all needed there don't touch it's not good. So I don't get it. You got these coaches. They'll, they'll, they'll be like uh, doing a lot of touching. And parents, if your coach, who is a male, sorry, we got to focus on the males, um, is touching your daughter, you need to have a conversation with them. Because, one, you want to protect your daughter and you want to protect your coach if you like them. They can't do it. They can't do it can't do it at all and these the thing is like they go through these training you know all coaches have to do these yearly trainings they just skip right through it i skip through a lot of it except the uh anything that's a deal with uh, working with the youth because i want to know every little detail of what is gro- i mean grooming just caught me completely off guard and if anyone else saw that video, you would never touch anyone ever again because we live in a world that you will get destroyed. Especially on that. It's worth it. worse than murder. Not even, you know, not even do anything. The accusation, you're done. Can't even have any accusation. So if you're going to be uh, a coach, a male coach that only coaches girls by the way i think that's an easy gig i do both um guys are much harder way harder it is so much harder working with young women it's literally the most fun job i've ever had just because all you have to do is treat them right treat them with respect and um be kind do some team building, and they'll, they'll love you forever. They'll go through the wall for you if you told them to. It's just, it's different. They're happy. Guys are miserable for the most part, and it's, it's tough. It's really tough. 
I don't know how I got in that segue. But anyways, uh, coaches, this is Coach Cameron's podcast helping you. Don't touch kids. None of them. It's not going to help you. You don't have to put your arm around their shoulder. They don't need it. Can't do it in this day and age. You know, just be kind. That's the best form of of a relationship with your players is just be kind, be positive. That's how you survive this world. This is how you avoid getting arrested or in trouble. Don't touch in any capacity because it's called grooming. How scary is that? Goodbye.